Good afternoon and aloha. Welcome uh, to this wonderful event we have here today. I'm David Preziosi with the Brand of Airways Foundation. And we're so excited to have you here for this special Learn About Braniff event. Today, we'll reveal the Braniff International Boeing 747 Concept Cabin. This unique project began in 2020 during COVID as a way to share with Braniff's audience an exciting, the exciting airliner interiors from the golden era of flight. Braniff Airways Chairman and Braniff Airways Foundation President Ben Cass began working on this project when it became apparent that the older Boeing 747s had just recently been retired to the airplane graveyards and parts were easily attainable. He began drawing up the plans to create an actual first-class cabin from Braniff's first and iconic Boeing 747-127 registered as N601BN. It was dubbed 747 Braniff Place and lovingly called the Great Pumpkin for its bright orange color and Fat Albert by Braniff employees. A supplier of Boeing 747 cabin parts was found in an Arizona aircraft wrecking yard where Delta Airlines 747-400 jumbo jets had just recently been retired. The original plan called for a simple four rows of seats with sidewall panels and overhead bins. However, the reasonable cost of the parts enabled us to continue with adding the full L1 entry door and then the L1 lavatory. And it was decided just before the project began that the concept cabin would meet all STEM requirements. Therefore, every effort was made to ensure that if possible, all parts of the cabin would operate as they originally did on the actual aircraft. For instance, the L1 entry door could have been made fully operable by using a simple bar to attach the door to the cabin frame. However, it was decided to use an actual L1 door hinge, complete with a hydraulic wind catch mechanism. There are many other STEM examples that you will see as we begin revealing the cabin to you in just a few moments. But first, let me introduce you to everyone. We have Mr. Ben Cass over here, the designer of our concept cabin. And then we have Mr. Colin, yeah, hand. We have Mr. Colin Ice, Braniff's current COO and our host for today. He's flying in first class up there because that's the only way he rolls. Uh, and then we have our flight crew, the mile hires today. Uh, we have Miss Catherine Lance, Miss Kathy Logan Smith, Miss Terry Hatch, and Miss Benny Pitts over here. All are former Braniff flight attendants who will ensure your flight to Hawaii today is comfortable and exciting. In addition, we have our passengers, Mr. Floyd Corsi, Mr. Tim Gleason, Ms. Marcella Gleason, Mr. Rudy, Rudy Bowling, and Ms. Marilyn Bowling, all former Braniff employees who, who are traveling with us today. We also, uh, we don't have Donna Miller here. She's the Braniff Airways Foundation's grant and fundraising manager, but we do have airline industry expert and Braniff Airways Foundation volunteer, Mr. Henry Hardevelt here. Maybe he's over there, first yeah. class. Um, let's see, and so before we begin our flight from Dallas to Honolulu today, we have a very special announcement. Braniff's Airways Foundation and Dallas Independent School District have re reached a unique agreement where this Braniff 747 concept cabin will be placed with the DISD Career Institute North just up the street on Midway Road. And at the school, the cabin will be available to more than five departments of students and be used for flight attendant and hospitality training. Braniff Airways Foundation also procured the parts to build a fully operational first class galley. This unconstructed part of the cabin will be sent to DISD Career Institute South, which will enable these students to not only construct the rest of the cabin, but also to learn about aircraft parts and manufacturing, along with airline in-flight operations. So with this unique partnership, Braniff will have full access to the cabin mock-up for various future events and promotions, while at the same time allowing DISD students to learn about aircraft technology and operations firsthand. We are extremely pleased with this partnership that will only serve to continue Braniff's legacy with the new generation. This project was made possible by generous grants from the National Endowment for the Arts through Humanities Texas and Eugene McDermott Foundation along with funding from Braniff Airways Incorporated. We also would like our, to thank our many individual donors without whose generosity this project could not have been completed. Thank you to each, of, each organization for your continued support of Braniff Airways Foundation. So as we pre prepare for departure, we extend a special thank you 
to each of you for making this a very fun and exciting day in the continuing history of Braniff International. And now our flight to Honolulu is ready for departure. Catherine. Mr. Gleason, are you all right in there? Can I be of any assistance? The laboratory lights illuminated out here. So, I'm so glad you're all right. Please return to your seat. We're going to be departing shortly. I guess he must have bumped the button. I'll have to turn it off. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We would like to welcome you aboard Braniff International, Flight 501, departing from DFW to beautiful Honolulu. We're so excited you have joined us today. Please make sure that your, as Catherine is doing, your seat belts are securely fastened, your tray tables are upright in a locked position, and that your seat, that, what else? <laughs> <laughs> You're, um, <laughs> the tray tables are in a locked position also. At this time, please just relax and enjoy the colorful skies of Braniff International. Thank you so kindly for joining us and welcome aboard. Catherine. Catherine. We have another full flight. And that should make our chairman, Harding, happy. I have a feeling he would be even happier if we strapped a bus to the top of this plane for more passenger seating. <laughs> Whoa, be careful. <laughs> if, if he hears that, he may just take you up on it. I could easily see him having maintenance come over and add a second story to the ship. A double-decker jumbo. Isn't that crazy? But if anybody can do it, Harding Warrants can. More steps for us to climb, girl. And thank you for flying with us, and we'll have dinner shortly. Miss, could yeah. I have a, could you have the pilot turn the heat up in the cabin? My feet are cold. Oh, well, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I'll see what I can do. I'll, I'll get in touch with him. But in the meantime, would you like a soft wool blanket to keep your feet warm? Yes, I would. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Here you go, sir. Would y'all like anything to drink? I think I'll wait for dinner. Okay, it will be served shortly. Thank you. Oh, miss, I just don't like any of these movies you have on this flight today. What can you do to make my flight better? You really want to know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let me tell you. If you will look in that seat pocket in front of you, there's a card in there and it has just a whole list of musical presentations that Braniff offers. And you can hear them through your earphones and it plugs into your armrest there. Well, thank you so very much. That word? Would y'all like something to drink? Not today. Thank no? you. No. Thank you so much. Hi, miss. How are you? I'm is there something I could get for you? Well, you know, miss, I think what I could really use is for someone to come fly me to the Mile High Club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you? You? Are you done? No. <laughs> Mr. Gleason, on the back row. Taken? <laughs> um, uh, I'm taken, too. <laughs> so, I, I'm sorry, but um, 
Maybe you just like to sit there and finish your drink, although probably had I enough, need maybe one. at this time, but um, <laughs> we'll see what else we can get for you, and dinner will be served shortly. Thank you, Missy. I'll see what I can round up for you. <laughs> well. well, at this time, could we please have a round of applause for our flight crew for tonight's Yay. flight? Yay. Okay, this part's gonna keep it. <laughs>